welcome back in the last session we talked about the relationships in terms of the degree okay so in this particular you know video we'll be talking about relationship in terms of the cardinality okay so what was the degree in the last session we talked the degree is nothing but the number of uh, entities that are associated in the relationship then we have seen the degrees in terms of unary binary ternary and 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 also you have seen some kind of role name associated with in in, in this particular you know relationship also we have seen the attributes that are associated with the uh, the relationship itself okay and we certainly saw some example and one of the uh, uh, weak entity relationship also we have seen that now in this session we'll be talking about the cardinality right so cardinality as i told you it is nothing but a minimum maximum values of connectivity okay in addition what would be the minimum okay and what would be the maximum okay uh, uh instances of or of, of that uh, particular or the order number of connectivity that could be associated with the uh, you, uh, what you say uh, among the entity research okay so relationship have different type of connectivity one we call it as one is to one okay another is the one is to many another is many is to one and lastly we have many to many okay so certain example i will, I will tell you a employee and head of the department okay now you see we have in this particular you know suppose organization we have 100 employees okay and we have three departments okay and we if, suppose each of these department be headed by some person like rahul you know uh, rakesh and ravi and like that now you can see rakesh rahul are are nothing but the employees okay so now you see on oh, these are these three only are heading the department no? and rahul is heading department one uh, suppose ravi is department two something like that so you can see this that only one employee can head one particular department or one particular department can be headed by only one person then that such type of things or connectivity okay cardinality comes into the form of one is to one next lecture offer courses okay assume a course is taught by a single lecture okay here we say suppose this particular subject is going to go okay in dbms okay if we are database engineering so it's, it's only i'm only teaching this particular subjects okay right okay then you know one particular lecture i am one particular person okay i'm taking class on you, your section i'm taking the class on other section and all these things also so one and, and i'm not talking only you know uh, 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 uh okay uh, 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 i'm not i'm i'm only you know talking uh, i'm only the single person who is uh, taking that particular courses itself for you and other section itself then it becomes into a relationship type of you know one is to n okay <coughs> is it that i'm not only taking one particular course i may take other particular course also say for example c and all this thing but that dbms is only been taken by me okay right so that type of relationship will occur okay we call this that one is to n okay that uh, saying that see lecturer offer courses one is assuming that a course is taught by a single lecturer okay yes so next m is to n now student enroll a course so let's say i have three course one say uh, uh, i said one course i'm running on blockchain i'm course i'm running on suppose say uh, in machine learning one on cloud computing right now i as a student can enroll in all of these courses okay and as a particular you know course itself one particular course can have m number of students itself okay and one particular store can enroll in many number of you know uh, courses like i have done for blockchain ml and all these things so such kind of cardinality we call it as nothing but m is to n okay so let's move forward in more details say cardinality one is to one okay so chair yes so we suppose say we have you know four person we have four chair so one person will be associated with only one chair so one instant of entity type person is related to one instant of entity type chair then the, that particular cardinality we has this one is to one okay so i have a person entity okay see his, this is the person entity i have the chair entity right so p1 is the instant of one of the instant okay and c1 is another instant of uh, of uh, chair okay and p1 is the instance of the person 
C1 is the instruct chain. So P1 is associated with C1. Okay. Now P2 is not going to be associated with uh, uh, you know C1 because in, in a particular chain only one person can uh, can sit into it. So such kind of cardinality we call it as one is to one. I hope you have understood now very clearly. Okay. Next is one is too many okay right now if you see organization and employee okay so one particular organization having you know many employees like e1 and e2 okay organization 2 is having e3 organization 3 has e4 e5 so so one instance of type organization is related to multiple instance of the employee so that becomes nothing but a uh, one is too many, right? See, you see, this is an employee, okay? Many instances are there. All are associated with, you know, only one instance of the organization. Then we have one is too many. So one particular instance of organization associated with many instances of employee. So we have that one is too many, right? Now let's say many is to one, okay? <laughs> so we, see, simply if you would, uh, uh, Actually, if employee come here and you know organization, that's how it, the thing itself. If you can see right, so now we take an employee and department. Okay, so many employees will be working in a particular department. Okay, and one department will be having many uh, employees. Okay, so this type of relationship is called as many to one. So many employees are working in in, in only one type of department. Okay, reverse of one to many relationship. Okay, yes. Similarly, next we have, you know, many to many, right? Okay, say for example, course and student. Now, see, as a student S1, I can register to course C1 and C2, okay? And you can see my course C2 is also been registered by S1 and S2, right? So, that's how, that means multiple instance of uh, uh, students, of one entity of student entity is with multiple instances of our course entity right so such kind of things that happens then we call is and nothing but many to many okay so i hope it is very uh, it is very clear it's very simple itself okay so now relations and participations i i i told about in the last uh, class also okay total and partial total means every entity instance must be connected through a relationship to other instance of other participating entity type okay so now i am talking in terms of uh, total person in the instance itself see employee head of the department so employee is a person as i told you right all employees are not uh, the head of the department but the department one uh, this particular department will be will be headed by an employee right so from the part of all and all department will be having a head of the department so that uh, uh, will be headed by an employee so department is the total okay and employee is the parcel itself okay so let me again roll back and cardinality when you talk about this we are talking about minimum and maximum okay so we have one is to one one is too many many is to many is to one many is to many right so we need some maximum window of connectivity here we are talking about what is the number of instances okay of that particular one entity which connected to the uh, how many instances of another entities if it is one when one means one instance is connectivity of entity e1 is connected to one instance of entity e2 right similarly one is to many means one instance connected to many instance of e2 many is to many means many instance of e1 is connected to one instance of e2 and many to many means many instance of e1 will be connected to many instance of e2 and we are e1 and e2 the entity itself so we have seen like person and chair where one instance of a person is related to one instance of chair it's very simple logically you think one particular person can only sit in one particular chair, chair itself right so it's just one is to one now one is to many organization one organization can have many <laughs> employees and employees Many employees can work in only one particular organization. That is what one is to many. The reverse of that is many to one. Like many employees are part of the department. Okay, many employees part of it, but one department will be having you know many you know em employees. Okay, right. Then we have many to many like student and course. So one student can enroll in many courses, and one courses can have many students. So such kind of uh, the cardinality uh, we have. We call is that by many to many. Then we talk about the participation where total means all the instances will be you know participating in itself, and partial means 
only uh, uh, only a few instances will be you know connected for example when you talk of employee heading a department all employee will not be will not be the head of the department right from the employee party to the parcel and each of the department will be having one particular you know head of the uh, department so, so from the department part it is the total itself so i hope it is clear because this particular thing should be clear because then only we can go and you know start design the er diagram thank you